Now, Stamford Bridge is preparing to host the game for Ukraine on Saturday as the world of football united to support children and teenagers whose lives have been damaged by the ongoing war. Our reporter Chris Reedy is at today's training session to hear more about what this cause means to the players. Yes, welcome to King's Meadow. We're about 24 hours away from the game for Ukraine. Glad to say I'm joined by Andrei Shevchenko. Andrei, yourself and Alexander Zinchenko tomorrow hosting both of the teams. Obviously, the proceeds tomorrow going towards rebuilding the schools in Ukraine. It's going to be an emotional day. It's going to be a special day. How are you feeling ahead of it? Um, I feel very excited, first of all, because uh, most of the players arrive and I'm so happy about that. And uh, uh, tomorrow it's, it's more than just football game, you know, it's uh, something what uh, we, we was been planning for a long time. And uh, finally, uh, uh, tomorrow we're going to play a game for race some funds for rebuild school in the region of Chernigov to, to help Ukrainian children to come back uh, and restart their education. See, yourself and Alexander Zinchenko, I know you've been speaking to President Zelensky about this game for a long time as well. How important did you feel it was to get football involved to, to spread that message that you're trying to spread? Oh, it's very important, especially in this moment, because the... Uh, the attention been go away slightly from war in Ukraine, but the, the war is still there. It's every day people dying, children dying, and it's, it's a very hard situation. And it's, uh, it's a good um, opportunity for us to remind about uh, uh, the war in Ukraine and it bring the, bring the attention and also try to raise the fund. It's obviously been very important to you and Alexander. Obviously, Alexander's playing. You've spent a lot of your time spreading the message, helping. How have you been feeling? How have you coped the last year or so with everything that's been going on? Because it must have been very, very tough. Yeah, I can, can even imagine, you know, uh, how difficult for, for every Ukrainian people. And Alex has been... Uh, great example because uh, he was uh, exceptional uh, to play for Arsenal also he find the time uh, to dedicate himself to um, help Ukraine uh, to to work uh, like ambassador for United 24 and um, he been great in the football pitch and offside also uh, him himself uh, went to to Ukraine. He is so uh, we saw together that uh, devastation would um, been destroyed uh, school in Chernigov by uh, Russian missiles. And we're here at Kings Meadow, with the Chelsea Women's Ground. Tomorrow, Stamford Bridge is where the game is being played live on Sky Max. How important has it been? How special have you been? feeling that Chelsea, your old, your old club, have, have really helped, really put themselves behind this game. And the players as well. We've joined by some absolute legendary players from Chelsea. How touched have you been by your old club putting the effort in for this? No, it's, 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 it's a big, big thank you for everyone, for the players who decide to uh, interact this vacation and most, most of them come in here to, to support the game. and especially Chelsea club who provide the stadium who provide a lot of support Chelsea fans and um, all um, uh, Great Britain society uh, that, that have been very supportive uh, to Ukrainian population to Ukrainian people and uh, just thank you for everything what you've been done and tomorrow is it's it's another opportunity to to help again Ukrainian children uh, for a very important cause to rebuild the school. It's a very important cause and it promises to be a really special day tomorrow. Just in terms of the football, how, how much for, are you looking forward to tomorrow, to the occasion, being back at Stamford Bridge, hopefully a full attendance and all your ex-teammates and some of your friends from the football world playing as well? Oh, I'm very excited. I, look, um, it's going to be great for me to come back and feel the Chelsea supporter also to... To, to play play with my teammates, uh, Claude Makelele, Peter Cech, Gianfranco Zola, 
and Dida, Serginio, Paolo Cannavaro. Uh, it's, it's a lot of uh, great football legend here. But uh, uh, I'm sure it's going to be some very competitive games between two teams. It's uh, some great teams from the other side, from Alexander Zinchenko. Uh, uh, it's going to be very competitive and I think the, the, the people are going to love it, especially it's going to be good entertainment al also. Um, uh, and uh, I think it'd be great day for the families. Andrew, I was just giving you the list of names there. It's going to be an absolutely cracking day tomorrow. Game for Ukraine. Emma Hayes, Arsene Wenger are the coaches. Team Zinchenko, Team Shevchenko. That's live on Skymax tomorrow from five.